What is up guys, it's your boy Jam and I'm back again with another video. Now we're going to talk about breeding in Scarlet Violet. Now, for anyone who does shiny um, hunts with hatching or competitively breeds their um, monster using VGC or singles or playing with friends or whatever, breeding is very important because in my opinion, it needs to be easy for people in a way you know obviously there's always going to be ev calcs and stuff but i want to talk about the actual way in which breeding is done within the game so um for one let's talk about just the mechanic about it now i believe there was a post around here we here we go so breeding is no longer done with a daycare so um thing got copyrighted so we don't need that but um for those who don't know we talked about the pokemon picnic now this was an official feature it was announced where you would um, put your Pokemon in a picnic, and you know, it's a little group gathering. It was like um, a me and all those other things. It has Subway sandwich artistry in it. So, um, breeding is now going to be done through the picnic and no longer a daycare. Now, this is a big change because we have not had something like this ever happen. It's always been in a daycare. Um, the biggest change was Sword and Shield, where or Sun and Moon, where the daycare would no longer, um, it would no longer level up, but you'd still breed and it was just like normal. So now it's to put two compatible bonds in a team, start a picnic and do nothing. Eggs will generate automatically, can boost with S fire. Now this is really cool. Um, because this makes it a lot easier. They just automatically spawn. So this is already easier. Um, it is different and there are flaws to this depending on the method you do it. But a lot of people, for those um, like me, sometimes I do it where they'll just um, bulk up on eggs before they start hatching. This is great. This is really great, actually. So put two compound mons in a team. So your regular party. So a ditto. And let's say you want a Foy Coco. You put Foy Coco in your party. Um, the picnic starts and then eggs will hatch automatically. Um, there's no sign when eggs are created. So you just kind of just have to check. Um, yeah, I love this, actually. it's It makes it real easy to hatch eggs. Um, that's not really fast, but you can go away, and, um, hopefully it's 20 to 30 seconds, and I'm sure there may be a, um, there's probably going to be some sort of, like, hatching charm, like Sword Shield had one, I'm pretty sure, where you, um, it makes eggs appear faster. Yeah, every game's had one. It's called the Oval Charm, I believe. So that should be in the game. I'm hoping, obviously don't take my word for it. It's just a hope. Um, nobody's asking about it, but um, I don't know. I'm, I don't, I'm hoping the egg IVs are just done through breeding. Um, yeah, but that's the method now. It's done through the picnic. So you set up a picnic, two Pokemon in your party that can do it. Um, presumably you're going to want a ditto. I would assume Ditto would just be the easiest way of going about it. Um, there's also a lot of other things um, up top they talk about. There's a grinding spot. Um, some of this I'll talk about in other videos, most likely. But for now, I'm just doing eggs. So I know they talked a lot about eggs in the beginning. Up here... I, I I know there was. Um, here we go. That that's not it. It's up here, guys. This is not going great. Here we go. So we can talk about egg move transfer as well, because egg because that's another thing all breeders know about. Um, certain egg moves they transfer down. For example, Pichu with Fake Out. If you have a Pikachu with Fake Out, it's an egg move. In order to get Pichus with it, you just breed it down. That's how it is. But now it's different. Um, it's a little... And I don't know why we're talking about this as a, a big change that it's no longer egg moves, quote unquote, but I'll talk about it in a second. Um, but egg move transfer is back. The difference is now you need to use a mirror herb. It isn't clear which you need to use those tests of both. Egg moves don't matter anymore for this way. Yeah, so... I guess one of the, po the Pokemon has to hold a mirror herb. Um, only the Pokemon you want to learn to egg move that should be called picnic no longer of anything you need to hold. So yeah, so let's say you are breeding the Ditto. Um, probably going to give the Ditto the um, Destiny Knot, you know, for the IV transfer. Um, and you have that Pichu or the Pikachu. Probably Pikachu because I don't know if you can breed Pichus. But Pikachu with the um, Mirror Herb, it now passes down that fake out. So really cool. Um, 
So they are changing stuff, and I like the changes. But there's also weird things with, um... Yeah, there's it's a weird thing with the picnic where, um... I would like to find stuff on it. Okay, so, yeah. I, I, that was the big issue, was that people were afraid there wasn't actual egg move transfers. But, um, yeah, I, I guess you can. I, I thought it was a weird method with the picnic, but yeah, you just need the mirror herb. It's a new item in the game. Um, there's also egg times. So that's something also important because nobody wants to sit for hours breeding an egg. So... Um, flame body no longer works. So that's a that's a big that's a rough one. Um, flame body won't work for eggs anymore. Just like synchronized compounds for wild Pokemon of mine still pretty fast. So I think they sped up the process um, for generally hatching eggs, but overall you're not going to be able to speed it up, which is a shame. That is a big shame because obviously you know people don't want to sit for hours and hours hatching eggs at a time, you know. I mean, you will anyway, but the more eggs you can produce in that time, the better. Um, he didn't actually give the time. Oh, okay, so he actually has a video. So it took about two minutes to hatch um, Meralt's eggs. So that, that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Um, and step forward 13. Yeah, it's... Um... Oh god, we have the hacking genning debates. You know, those are everywhere. Um, but yeah, flame body no longer works. It's a very... Um, that's kind of a, a disappointing one, but you also have to consider with this method, it would be very inconvenient, I guess, to have flame body. Because for one, now you have a ditto with a flesh and with a Ralt. How's that going to work? Because, um, you know, which one is it going to breed with? The game doesn't know what you're doing. There's nothing to compute that you're using the flame body for the flame body. So it's going to breed with the Fletchinger and the Ralts, which is not going to end well. Um, it's going to mess up your results. And if it doesn't take terribly long to hatch the eggs, then I don't think it's a huge ordeal. Oh, wait, no, that's a stupid thing of mine to say, because you you get hatch them in the picnic, and you hatch them, I was like, man, I am... Whew, I, I gotta use this method, guys. Ignore everything I just said. Um, we're gonna read this. Definitely better, but seems more optimized. No flame body up. Eggs seem to hatch as flame body, yeah. No synchronize in the overdoll. Yeah, so that's another thing. Um, outer, out of battle abilities are no longer a thing. Synchronize isn't gonna work. Apparently, flame body isn't gonna work. Um... Static probably wouldn't work either. Um, yeah, so that's a big change. It looks like they've done sparse evolution. But yeah, so a lot of changes to eggs. A lot of changes to it. Um, egg moves no longer have anything to do with eggs. Really, you just put one Pokemon who knows if any other compatible Pokemon part on a picnic to have it learn it while both holding Mirror Herb. So yeah, there's a lot of people are trying to change it now as picnic moves. I don't see the point of trying to change the name, and here's why. Um, egg moves have been more optimized for a while now, to my knowledge. I'm pretty sure you could get them through raid battles. Just as an example, or events would give out special egg moves. Like Egg moves have been changed in the game to where they're not exactly just egg moves. Like, hidden abilities aren't really hidden abilities anymore. They're not hidden, and they're actually seriously easy to give out in the game so yeah so I mean obviously and also this was the thing with um sword shield as well in the daycare if you had a um let's say you wanted to teach a Corviknight roost right you would um you would have a one um, one Mon Roost in the same egg group. I think it had to be the same egg group. Could be wrong. No, it had to be the same Pokemon. So let's say you wanted to to give a Rookity Roost when you had a Corviknight with Roost. You could put them both in the daycare. And if your Corviknight only had three moves, um, or if the Rookity only had three moves or less, it would learn Roost. So this was already a transfer mechanic we had in the game already. 
So I feel like just staying with egg moves is the best way to go about it, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. But um, yeah, so I think that's for the most part what they established about breeding. I want to show the video of breeding in the game, but I also don't because I feel like I'm going to get copyrighted to no end. So, yeah, that's a lot of stuff about breeding. Um, it's done through the picnic now. Egg moves have a slightly more specific process. And um, no more flame body, which is a shame. Abilities do not work anymore outside of battle. So that's a big shame. But um, there's some goods and bads to it. I think there's some upgrades to this. Obviously, being able to sit around while eggs boost up is pretty convenient. I would say, you know, just let your... Um, just have your game sit, go play another game for 30 minutes, and boom, bro, you got eggs. Um, hopefully, Oval Charm will boost it, like, maybe 15 to 20 seconds you get an egg. That'd be pretty cool. But, um, yeah, it's going to be all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Your boy Jim is signing out. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Check out my Discord. Check out my Twitch. Check out all that fun stuff. Um, this game is coming out in just a few days, and I'm super excited for it. I'm going to be live streaming it. So um, stay tuned for that, guys, and I hope everyone has an awesome day.